Got hey. a minute? Yeah. Whoa. What? Got a minute? I do. Could... Do it again. <laughs> Got a minute? Hey, start again. Got a minute? <laughs> yeah, whoops. <sighs> and there you go. I hope you enjoy laughing because we really can get uh, going with our giggles, especially that one over there. <laughs> Just too silly. Doing? Yeah, there you go. You got a minute? I do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We're this is a so one minute well. Wednesday. Yeah, it's a funny one when it was blah, 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 blah. Got a minute? So tonight, guess what we have tonight? I'm sure you can guess because I've been bugging you about it all week. We have <laughs> some special people with us tonight for this. All podcast. right. Yeah. Sounds great. It's it's not live. We recorded this just before Christmas. So uh, we want to bring our special guests in. This is called a patron hangout. We thought it would be pretty cool to have patrons join us at uh, whoever we put out our patrons and they responded and they said, yeah, let's join. So here we are. We're going to bring them in one at a time. Boom, 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 boom. There hey we go. Hey, Hello. how's everybody doing? Good. 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 And uh, we'll start up in the top right hand corner. We have Houston, Texas, Dave. The stars at night are big and bright. Big in the heart of Texas. Well, I'm, I was born in California near San Francisco, and my parents moved to Texas when I was young. And we grew up here. We've traveled a lot throughout the United States, and I got into geocaching back into 2016 when my daughter, after a soccer game, spent the weekend with a friend, and then they came back and told us about geocaching and after finding five caches we went to our first event which happened to be the texas geocache and challenge festival in brenham and we were just so surprised with about 300 people there that they introduced us taught us everything and we were kind of hooked from there so we've hmm. been doing that for the last four or five years nice got a minute i do <laughs> <You? Great. laughs> Cool. It's good to have you with us. Uh, uh, Houston, Texas, Dave is very, very uh, in, into the social media of geocaching. You see him often on um, Geocache Talk. I see him there and the podcast, po uh, podcaster, the Thursday one. Yeah, you're you're there as well, I think. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Hey, you got a minute? I do. Do you? Yeah, great. Oh, you messed it up on me, and now i got to do it again. Okay. Hey, you got a minute? I do. Great, because it's a one-minute Wednesday. Cool. Let's go. Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> and how did you discover uh, us? I, I think I was at a, uh, a local event here in Texas, and some people had talked about the various podcasts, uh, and sure. yours came up, and so yeah. I started watching it as well as cash the line and <laughs> some of the others and uh, i had recently i think 2017 we went up to british columbia right after visiting seattle doing the geo tour mm -hmm. we went to vancouver and so canada really started to become some areas that we wanted to explore so we started watching uh all the the Canadian related podcast is yeah. we're looking for areas that we wanted to explore. Nice. Hey. You what? You <laughs> 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 this is working out so well. <laughs> hey. Yes. <laughs> You're yelling at me. And uh, on, on the very bottom, down there, all alone, we have uh, Chief Scout, Dave. And he's actually Dave. not too far away. I think yeah. uh, 30 minute drive, I think, something like uh, that. About, <coughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. How you doing? I'm well. I'm well. Glad to it's be here. It's good to see you. Yes. Yeah. And how long you. have you been uh, geocaching there, Dave? Uh, I guess. We have I'm three Daves in the house. Yeah, I guess I'm coming up on the uh, better part of 16 years now. Wow. So, yep. Yeah. Um, wow. You kind of picked my name up uh, just through uh, previous association. I am a chief scout and yeah. uh, I, the spelling mistake is so there's no copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> and then I guess uh, started following uh, both of you with uh, YouTube just because of proximity. Yeah. Um, I found many caches and many cachers, and I think, um, however it is, the the one caches that seem to befuddle me, and I have to ask the most hints for, is anything that Lyric Glass is hidden. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, it, 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 uh, there's one in the uh, Longwoods Conservation Area, and it's like I must have asked twice, and another roadside one. But I think I have it now. Oh, so good. <laughs> is that the one on the bridge? Oh yeah. 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 So I think uh, we've so... just replaced that again, not too. Mm -hmm. It keeps falling down. It keeps falling yeah. down. So, yeah, it's a long but, way down. Yes. Yeah, so anytime I ever had it did not find for a bit, it was always lyric class and it was starting to be Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kept having to go out there and replace that one. So Hey! <laughs> the Stars cheap. <laughs> Grass is free. <laughs> So they say. And uh, below me and over to the left, we have Wet Coaster, Gary, out in BC. Hello. Hey. How are you doing, Gary? Not too how's bad. The, how's the weather out there tonight? Um, uh, here, it's just yeah. raining. Oh, okay. But I'm down on the coast. Mm. Uh, up in Four Season Community, that's Kelowna. <laughs> yes. Uh, take, take your woolies. Okay. Uh-oh. I haven't checked the weather. Is it cold? Um, it's about it's minus one. Feels like minus six. Oh wow! Snowing That's, tonight. Yeah. Snow tomorrow. Snow Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Great. <laughs> it's going to be around zero for a high. Oh, that's Karen? like it is. That's it. Like it is around here. So yeah, take yeah. It, 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 it's very similar. Take your winter coat. You're going to be going into the oh, cold. Oh, most definitely. And, yeah. and your boots. Yeah, yeah I'm taking Karen, my boots. Karen is flying to BC on Sunday. Uh, to be with our daughter uh, just before she gives birth to her first child and our first grandchild. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> we have Kantai, but without the pup. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my uh, my pup is at home tonight. Uh, I yep. started geocaching in uh, 2015. Uh, it, my first cache was in Halifax. Um, I'm from Ottawa, so but I do travel quite a bit. Uh, with work, so tonight, um, as we're doing this episode, we, uh, I am in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. Wow! Oh, wow! And what brought you there? Uh, my work. I am an inspector for the federal government, and uh, so I go all different places. And this two, these two weeks, I'm in uh, Newfoundland. Hmm. So you have the coast to coast, then uh, every every province cash. Yes. Cash yes, I province. do. Yeah. Yes, I do. And um, I also have all three territories. Oh, wow. So, we haven't done that yet. That's that's on our, our Anybody list. has heard about the Great Canadian uh, Geo Tour? Yep. I'm the last finder of the final. Wow. Oh. I've, been, I've been able to complete the, the Geo Tour also. We have a few of those, and uh, one or two of them have made it into our videos, and wow. we're still working on it. Yeah. Someday we might yeah. get it. You never know. Hey, got a Whoa, minute? Oh, hold on. Jeez. Hey, got a minute? Yeah, I do. Great, because it's a one minute Wednesday. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and to your left, uh, our right, as we're looking at the screen, we have geocacher Ken. Hi, Ken. Hello, How you Ken. Doing? From Hello. Manitoba, who we met this summer. Like yes, your shirt. Did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was going to wear uh, a cash line shirt, but I thought, no, I better be too nice. <laughs> That's okay. We don't mind. Yeah. Jeff's a good friend. We're actually, um, we're going to be having Jeff on a uh, geo vlogger round table on January the 8th. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, by the time this comes out, that video will already have been out. <laughs> Welcome to Cash Canada Chats, and look at this, all the faces we have on the screen for you to enjoy tonight. Thanks, everybody, for coming for this Vloggers Roundtable. I found my first cash in August 2013 by accident. I had heard about geocaching, mm -hmm. um, but once I found that first one, it's like, oh, this is pretty cool. So it was uh, a lock and lock, so it had lots of stuff in it, so that yeah, it was very interesting. It's like, I want to find more now. 
<laughs> and yeah, and that's like six thousand five hundred plus fines later. Well, how did how did you know it was a geocache? Uh, it was clearly marked. Oh, it was okay. All right. Yeah, um, and it was actually Lower Fort Gary, which is north of uh, Winnipeg. I was mm -hmm. there on a family outing. Went into a one of the corner uh, bastion, uh, like the round buildings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just looking around, I said, like, "Oh, well, someone left their lunch container here." <laughs> <laughs> and well, I don't know what possessed me to check it out. It's like, yeah. you know, expecting to see a half-eaten sandwich. Like, oh, and it was clearly marked on the label that this is a geocache, hmm. and had everything on it. So I took a picture of it and showed it my, to my neighbor, who's who I had heard about this, and it says, yeah, and told me what to do. And yeah, it's been hmm. that's been uh, I've been doing that ever since. Thanks. And all the way over to the other side of the screen, uh, right behind Wet Coaster. We have his lovely wife, Green Words. What oh, I know, I know. Oh, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. No, wait a minute. No, not yet. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, okay, okay. One cash. Okay. Hello. Down below me. How you doing? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm doing good. That's good all. It's to good you. to see you. Yeah. I was telling everybody before you came in that uh, the statistic shows that the uh, percentage of people watching, there was 70% women and 30% oh, yeah. men. So more women are watching Geo, uh, for, probably for clear class, uh, for, probably for her, <laughs> not me. And they all said the beard. No, it's so, the beard. It's, it's the beard. beard. Yeah. There you go. Yes, okay. it's the beard. <laughs> yes. He was telling us that uh, he shaved it off and you made him put oh, it back gosh. on. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Well, with the beard, you don't see as much of my face. So how uh, did you both start geocaching together? No, or one before no, the other? No, they started before me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I got my account in 2007, and then I was looking at a map going, well, the question marks, those just mean they're harder to find? <laughs> <laughs> For me, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I didn't know there was a puzzle. I just meant, I yep. just thought you had to look harder. Uh, in that area. Oh, okay. Oh. So I didn't actually get my first fine until twenty, like five years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> okay. One cash. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I actually uh, Green Green Words is a longer patron than Wet Coaster by about what a day. I think yeah. you you you, yeah, you I think so. Yeah, you signed on first, and I'm like, yeah. who's this? <laughs> And then you told me who you were, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. And we met Gary on one of our, uh, one of Karen's um, Subway Cash and Dash. I think that was. Might have oh, been wet, favorite. cold, rainy. Yeah. Yeah. Subway Cash and Dash. Yeah. yeah. It was a wet one and a cold one. It was one our night. excuse to go caching in Toronto, so. Yeah. 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 That was a fun and, day, though, even though the. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we, we just don't go to Toronto to do geocaching yeah. so uh texas dave what's uh what's going on over there in texas Things well this past, this past weekend uh, i went up to an event up in dallas they had uh, a world of warcraft event i think there were 10 of them worldwide one of them was in i think british columbia one in california and one in dallas and so everybody who came they went and handed out these, um, Ooh. I guess, the seven different varieties of trackables, and then we're supposed to release them as soon as we can to try to get as many mileage, and then wow. take pictures of them, post them on the uh, Twitter account, and uh, World of Warcraft cash, and they're going to mm -hmm. give out prizes or something like that. Nice. So are people going to make a theme to World of Warcraft mm -hmm. uh, geocache? I think maybe. Um, they can if they want. I mean, yeah. I, I plan to drop uh, mine in one of my travel bug hotels because those tend to get scooped up and moved real quick. Yeah. Hmm. So travel well, bugs are really, really popular down there? Yeah. Um, we have some cashers in and around the Houston area and even outside the Houston area. They make some really good travel bug hotels and they're in spots where people travel a lot and you can just drop them they'll get a lot of mileage so hmm. you you probably have a lot of uh, the uh travel bug hotels of america like the really really good ones down there or yeah um 
We have one that's located inside a, a caboose of a train mm -hmm. up in Conroe and yep. just north of Houston. And that's one of the highly favorited ones over there that people mm. like. Mm. Yeah, I saw I a couple it, of those Warcraft ones up here in London right now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I hadn't heard of it yet. I don't know if I missed missed something. I don't know. It was it was a mail in offer. Um, Icky and uh, Night Watchman uh, got one. Oh well, I must have missed it. <laughs> it um, Monkey had an event out here in BC last weekend. Yeah. The World of Warcraft event. He, that was the Canadian one. Yeah, I saw him on live. I was I popped in to say hello, and that was very. Well, it, was the same, it was the same time as the Hamilton football game, so there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are you rooting for? Oh, Hamilton Argos. Or... Argos. <laughs> the Argos. They're <laughs> killing me. Never are cheer for Argos. <laughs> Why? Who's playing? Hamilton, Hamilton and Win Winterpeg. Winterpeg. Winter pig, yeah. <laughs> well, we know who Ken's playing or cheering, cheering for. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I was and born in Hamilton. Yeah, and they're they're playing in Winnipeg, aren't they? No, no it's in Hamilton. Oh, the Grey Cup is in Hamilton. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know. God, shoot me for not knowing that Canadian and all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy doodle! You think we could get this right? How many times? How, how long have we been doing this? One cash. Okay. One minute. <laughs> start the clock. No, cue the title. <laughs> cue the title. And start the, the clock. clock. Go. <laughs> what? Uh, what's everybody's favorite part of geocaching? Like, what? Uh, what's your favorite um, type? Like earth cache, virtual, traditional, multi, or which one do you hate the most? Which one do you? If you steer away from a geocache, multis are my. I know. Oh, the like, nano in the multis. woods. Nano in the woods. <laughs> yes. The tree climbers Those are always are a the, challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Tree. Do you have tree climbs in Texas? Because we didn't notice we, many when we were down there. You don't have a lot of tall trees. We do. Um, the piney woods just north of Houston in the eastern part of Texas, we have a lot of tree climbs there, and uh, we've recently had some people kind of set up a challenge up there. So it's it's uh it's getting more popular. Mm -hmm. What about BC? You have lots of big trees there. Do you have? Yeah, trees? there's there's some, not a lot, but yeah. the trees are too big. Yeah, that's true. They're not yeah. the little short trees like Ontario. Yeah, are you in? <laughs> are you in the area where they have the really really giant ones like the sequoias or? or yeah, there's there's some, and there's some red. There's a redwood park not too far from us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess but that the, would be kind the really of... big ones are on the island. Oh, okay. It'd be kind of hard to put a geocache in that. You'd have to go up 100 feet before you get the first branch. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. And what geocaches do you hate? What what kind of types do you just not go for? Where I go. Where I go? Yeah. Yeah. Where I go. Yeah. Sometimes they're a little tricky to do. The, yeah. The I'm technology not looking doesn't work. To, uh, 112 puzzles i have to solve locally <laughs> i know jigsaw puzzles yeah that's a lot of time yeah yeah just uh, just between uh where uh, david lives chief scout and us there's a trail that just got put out it's all uh jigsaw puzzle caches so it's all a mystery i think a mystery right yep and uh yep. You, yeah there's just all click on it solve the jigsaw puzzle and some are easy they're like 30 pieces and some oh, are like find, which one's the 30 piece one i keep uh, on the 500 piece one <laughs> it was like a, a, a one and a half two and a half or something right. like that. i clicked on one and i'm like oh that one i can do yeah you know, exactly I, you know, it just takes a lot of time oh. i just don't have the time to do all that so i have, we'll have to latch on to somebody hey we have to do a, a team effort okay yes. you do 10 and we'll do 10 and somebody oh. else do 10. yeah i got zero five five solved i'll email you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one okay yeah. we're good <laughs> yeah we were going to go uh, david and i were going to go out geocaching with karen um and it just didn't work out so we're trying to try to get another date together with you well maybe january for sure and uh if anybody is ever in the area please look us up um to we can go caching with you or if we're in your area uh, we will try yeah. to look you up as well because we uh we're going to get traveling again soon i think uh 
uh, travel. This pandemic thing has got to end sometime. <laughs> it's got to allow us to move about. Um, you know, we're off to BC. Unfortunately, we're not on the wet coast. Uh, we're in the mid Midwest <laughs> in the in the lake country. Um, but I'm sure we're going to go back to Winnipeg at some point. We have some good friends there besides Ken, uh, Ken, and we'd like to visit them and see more people. And I know we're going back to Texas in, uh, wait a minute, it's a little far in the future. 2024, yeah. We're going to be in, uh, we're hoping to be, uh, if anything changes uh, otherwise, we'll be in Austin, Texas in April of 2024. Um, there is a solar eclipse that year, that month, and it does come very, very close to uh, the, s the north shore of Lake Erie, which we could see it then, but we thought in April it w could be cloudy and really crappy weather. So we thought we would take our chance and go to Texas and hope for sun. So you never that know. That last solar eclipse we had, uh, we went out to Oregon. We were up in Seattle and then drove down to Oregon just mm -hmm. to be at one of the epicenters that was over there when the, that last eclipse that we had yeah. a few years ago. Did you, did you see it? You were able to see it? Or was yeah, it cloudy? Um, yeah. We actually had several cashers from Texas that were out there that we all mm -hmm. kind of went to different areas for uh, state parks and stuff to where we could get a good, good yeah. uh, viewpoint. Yeah, I think it was the last big one across the states. Um, our son flew to uh, St. Louis and I saw a posting from my aunt who lives in Connecticut uh, and she was about 30 minutes away from where he was. She posted a picture of buying her daughter, a young adopted daughter, a, a present from some mall. And I'm like, that's not in Connecticut. So I, I messaged her. So where are you? And she goes, oh, I'm in Missouri or wherever it was, St. Louis. And I said, wow, you, Paul is right there. So I hooked them up. So my, our son was able to watch the eclipse with our aunt, my aunt. And it was really cool. So he had a lot of fun doing that. It was really weird. So, yeah, we're hoping to get Texas and do some geocaching and visit Austin. And we've never been to Austin yet. I've heard it's uh, really cool. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been to San Antonio with the water at the river, riverfront, river something. <coughs> Um, it was river walk. river walk. Yes, it was very, very nice. Awesome. And we got our picture with the Alamo. So that webcam is no longer active. It's gone, unfortunately. It was one of our first uh, webcams that we've had. So, uh, Wet Coaster, did, have you got the webcam and the green words? You got the webcam in Victoria? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the only one out here now. Yeah. Got We're hoping. We're hoping we that in tomorrow. August we can go get it. Yeah, it's if you're going to come out for Geo Woodstock, then it's yep. it's worth a day or two to go over to Victoria. There's lots of really good caches there. So if we go over in the morning on a ferry and spend the day and spend the night and then go back the next day, well, we'll be could, good. You could take the, the the last ferry at night. Yeah, hmm. it's about nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about nine o'clock. It's an hour and a half ferry ride back to the yeah. mainland. I figured if we spent the night, it would be at least give us some time yeah. to, to do stuff. Yeah. Because I don't want to go there just for the webcam and just for the land sharks, uh, their famous cache. They have, I think it's most favorited cache in BC is in front of land sharks, is it? In front of their store? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're having an event next sun next Saturday night. Yeah. Hmm. They're having their celebration event. So we're going over oh, we're nice. taking the ferry over Friday night. Yeah. Coming back Sunday. Hmm. Well, we can't fly out to see you, unfortunately. Well, you, you can't even <laughs> drive down. <laughs> no. No. The way, the way the highways are with the flooding we've had in the last few weeks, the bridges are all out on the highway. Yeah. yeah we have so, all, it's all Canadians here. Except for one from Texas. <laughs> so, how's the supply chain for you guys? Um, what time things are getting a little short on the shelves. Mm -hmm. so we've got gas rationing at the gas stations. Mm. You're not supposed to take more than thirty liters at a time. Wow. Mm -hmm. They think the highway through the interior, the Coquihalla, will be open again sometime in January. Because yep. I think it was. Seven bridges or nine? Yeah, 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Got wiped out. Had you flood. heard about that in Texas, your way, that flooding they've had in BC? Yeah, we've we've seen a lot of the, uh, on the Weather Channel, we've watched those fronts just kind of continue flowing in, and we've seen yeah. a lot of the flooding on, on the news. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the geocaches are doing. <laughs> yeah. well, I think they're away. all T5s because you need boats now. <laughs> <laughs> temporarily raised the terrain level <laughs> up there. The main area for the flooding is about five, ten, about five kilometers east of where Geo Woodstock is going to be. Uh -huh. So yeah, they're actually that. using that site as an evacuation center. Yes, I heard that. Yeah. Wow, so hopefully things get kind of somewhat back to normal but when we arrive. So I think we're going to have to uh, bank on flying um, to Abbotsford and not Kelowna because we might not be able to get from Abbotsford to Kelowna even by then. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we yeah, should be able to by then. should yeah. be able to. But, hope so. But you fly into Abbotsford, it's right there. Yeah. yeah. The trade yeah, definitely center. have a Tito help you guys out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are you uh, coming out this way or that way uh, from Texas? Yeah, as soon as, you know, it's all clear as far as borders and the events being hosted, we yeah. plan to be up there. Yeah. And Kantai, what do you think? Are you, you're you're going to fly from Newfoundland all the way over to <laughs> – you'll be done no, there. I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, – in, in, that's Friday. I'm flying back home to Ottawa. Yeah. But uh, I – not sure if I'll be able to go to a Geo Woodstock. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter is graduating from university uh, in April. So we're going to end of April, beginning of May. We're driving back to uh, BC if we can get through mm -hmm. and then uh, bring her all her stuff back home. She wants to go to do her master's next year on the East Coast. Yeah. And then uh, her graduation is in June. So we got to fly back to June and having to go back in August again. Eh, it yeah. could be a little, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of travel and I've got to work too. So yeah, I may not be able to do it at this, at this one here. I went to yeah. Cincinnati and really enjoyed it. Great experience, but uh, I think I may have to pass for this year. Yeah. What about you, Ken? Are you planning to go? Uh, hoping to. Yeah. I've never, never been to uh, a large event like that. Yeah. So, that, and I was planning on driving there, but I guess we'll have to see what what the roads are like. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, you're taking a few weeks to go down then. Yeah. yeah. How long are you taking to go down? From here? Yeah. Um, no, a few days. Like, like yeah. I probably like if I drove straight through, probably take a day. But I'll be uh, stopping along yeah. the way, like stopping Saskatchewan, stopping Alberta. So, so probably taking a week or just a few days then? Um, probably take a few days to get there, take my time, and then you know, I'll book a vacation uh, on either side of the event. So, so I'll have time. Oh, that's it's, that's smart. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. So I was going to actually. I did that this past summer. Well, of course, it didn't happen. So, I, uh, no. Well, that was last year, last summer. That's yeah. uh, end up going camping instead because there was no no event. So, yeah. Not too bad. So has the pandemic uh, really drastically changed your geocaching adventures or not so much? Some people haven't noticed at all. Anybody? Dive in. Not, not for me. Um, uh, the only thing that's uh, changed is uh, not being able to zip down to North Dakota. Mm. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much been status quo. Yep. I found events have all been canceled, so I, I really enjoy going to events. So I miss We've seeing done everybody. More yeah. Can yeah, you do they, events in Ontario now? Um, they do, but they're still. Um, I think they're still outside. You can't go inside yet. Hmm. Because no, we can go inside. We've uh, not only we've had our first indoor events. Oh, okay. Uh, this past week. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're progressing slowly. Yeah, slowly. Yeah. Yeah, I miss the uh, um, the GIF event. Simrelo puts on. He puts it in a theater. 
uh, this year we had to put it mm -hmm. in a, a shelter in a uh, park and it was just too cold to and to drive that far and then to stand in the cold for two hours. And it was a bad a weather day. Yeah, so we missed that. We're looking forward to that next year. It's just really, really cool to see all those films in uh, in the theater. And hopefully you'll get to see a Cash Canada entry. So working on that. I got it about half half done. Yeah. I, I pick away at it each, you know, every now and then I look at it and I go, oh, I can change this and do that. I still have um, some live stuff, not live stuff, but things that I need to shoot that are specific for the for the video because much of it, well, I, go, oh, I don't want to tell you. I'm not going to say them anymore. Anyway, there you go. You just have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm surprised it took us so long, you know, to come up with, uh, I had an idea for a while and uh, it just didn't, stick with me and then i finally said you know what we we need to do this we've been doing vlogging now for over four years and we need to put something out there hopefully to ga gather a little bit more attention from the the rest of the world to see um and i think jeff can attest to it too when you when you vlog ev every day not well every every week so when you put out stuff on a regular basis it's kind of hard to take uh, a turn and do uh, a, a production that you're actually going to make something for that it's a little different and sometimes what you're doing each week could have been i think you can see several of our videos could have easily been converted to a gif uh, film if we had just changed it just a little bit or really worked on what we had we could have had a, a gif film um, but i think what we're what we're going to be presenting is uh, hopefully we'll get in. Um, I'm pretty confident that it will. And uh, I think uh, most people will really, really enjoy it. So all I'm concerned with is getting us in. It doesn't matter if we win. So I think uh, we have David back. There you go. David is back, I think. He's typing away. So we'll just uh, let him type away there. Okay, so uh, what's your uh, favorite cache story? Anybody got a favorite cache and that they've done? I know Karen's favorite. I got a couple favorites, actually. Okay, give us a favorite. One of them is, um, it's, it's not too far from where we live, and it's down a back dirt road that's not well maintained. And you get there, and there's this beautiful little park, it's up on the top of a hill and there's a uh, flagstone, uh, like, like 40, 40 foot square flagstone. Oh, yeah. And in the center is a monolith. Um, this man has made a memorial for his wife hmm. and it's, it's just amazing to see. It's just, it's gorgeous. He's done a beautiful job. Yeah, that one really is enjoy it. Uh, north east. No, no. Yeah. Northeast of Peterborough, Ontario. And it's a virtual cache, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Gary's got that one. Probably has from your time in Ontario. Um, yeah, it's a big monolith. It's about 50 or 60 feet high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's in the middle of the woods, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's really, really strange. But uh, really well worth going to, um, to see something that this guy built by himself. It's amazing. And we didn't do a video on that. I don't know if we did no i think that was before we were doing videos just before we started yeah. yeah yeah and this has been an amazing experience for us to share what we do with all of you and to have people come along with us every week um it's just uh you know i look forward to your comments too and i and and uh, dave out there in texas he's one of the first ones to jump on sometimes and oh he, he there he is okay and i try to respond a little bit but it's so fun to uh, to hear your reactions to yeah, what we do so. and to, to share no, it with you. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, and we actually found we've never met uh, Dave. I don't think we ever have, um, but we found uh, one of one or two of his geocaches when we were in Texas. I knew what well, you weren't a patron yet. I don't Texas. You know, we we no. were geo we were vlogging then, um, but we uh, I remember seeing your name on a lot of the podcasts. And uh, so I'm going to go and find one of his. It was at a um, a park that had a, a U.S. destroyer that was embedded in the ground. It was the weirdest uh, destroyer display I'd ever seen. It was buried in the ground. 
I think you visited Seawolf Park. It's got a pier where people can fish. It's got yeah. a destroyer. Yep. And it's got a partial submarine that you can take tours inside of. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought that would be an excellent place for a, a geocache. Just, it's yep. a light yeah. post yeah. geocache. But it's just a fun place to visit. And and that's the video. It's us finding the looking at the destroyer and then finding this lamppost cache. And I mean, I was commenting on your name, and that was your cache. It was pretty cool. So, and uh, when we're in uh, all the different places, we're gonna have to look everybody up and make sure we find one of yours mm -hmm. and uh, get out there. And and uh, can tie there. Do you have a lot of caches there in Ottawa? Because I know Ottawa has lots of geocaches. Can we find one of yours? Um, uh, you should be able to find one or two of mine. Okay. Considering right. I got close to 200 hidden. <laughs> I think we should be able to do that. So we'll, we'll put I've that got on. A few There's a challenge trail in Ottawa too, in the yeah. east, uh, west end of Ottawa. Yeah. I have a few of them in there. And um, one that's going to be maybe easy for you to find is my uh, million meters challenge. Hmm. What was it? Million what? Million mm -hmm. meters Challenge. Meters challenge. Okay. Huh. Yes. Wow. A million meters. It's almost to the sun. Think about right. it. A million meters. A million mm. meters. Mm. Ten thousand. It's a thousand kilometers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically have to have seven types, uh, two caches, seven types that are a thousand apart, a thousand okay. uh, a, a, one a kilometer, a thousand kilometers apart. Wow. And oh. two events yeah, to, yeah. to where I goes. Yeah. So it's not that difficult to get. Yeah. We uh, like we like challenge caches. Real hardcore. I also have the big uh, big five challenge in Ottawa. Nice. Hmm. Which is yeah. Um, we'll have to check that one out. Yep. Yeah. You have to be a hardcore challenge in there. Uh, do you think we can get it? That one. Can we qualify? I don't think you do qualify. Oh you have a completed? Yes. You two, have three uh, times, uh, twice, almost three. What? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe you are then. Yeah. Um, your fizzies, your calendar's done. Yep. Uh, All four of the I big ones. I think I ones. have to update my Jasmer. Okay, I, don't have, and I don't have the last few months. That's what I. What need. is your longest streak? 131. Uh, 555. So you are qualified. I'm sorry, dear, you're not. Oh, you have to have good. the five. It's very similar to the uh, uh, the Master Cashers ca uh, challenge mm -hmm. in Hamilton. Yeah. Except okay. that you have the additional requirements is you have to have a 365 day streak. Oh, oh, okay. Oh well, can we get that one? Even though you can't get it. Sure, you, you can, can get sign. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably not going to get the streak. <laughs> You're just going to have to put a note if you don't qualify. Yeah. 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 That's what I do. So I, because I've got lots of those ones that say, oh, 365 days. It's like, no, I don't have that. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. Gary and, and Catherine, what are your, uh, do you have a favorite geocache that you've published? Oh, published? Yes. I, I only have two caches. So, okay. Do you have one more favorite than the other? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, my, my multi uh, is probably my favorite. And and I don't really like multis, but yeah. I it's not far from home, so it's easy for me to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, has a few, it has a few favor points on it, so uh, I was mm -hmm. happy about that. And it's, uh, it's about the area. The history of the area oh. uh, of Surrey. So, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Edith and Arthur. Oh, oh okay. It's mm -hmm. about it's about uh, these people, Edith uh, and her brother Arthur, who uh, who an area of Fleet uh, the area of Fleetwood is named after. So, hmm. and how far yeah. away? How far away is uh, Surrey from Abbotsford? Uh, oh, that's not that far at all. I Thirty kilometers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kilometers. All right. Yeah. And the highway, right, Highway One goes right by. Yeah. Close to both of us. 
we'll, we'll look that one up and we'll put it on our list for when we drive to uh, yeah. Vancouver Island. And yeah. Gary, do you have a favorite that you've published? I'm, well, I'm about to publish one here that's a challenge that you should be able to, to get easily. It's 100 mm -hmm. in BC and 100 in any other province or territory. I think we have more than 100 in BC. I think yeah. it's one of our highest provinces now. You know, I've got five near Aurora, Ontario. Aside mm -hmm. from Ontario. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get, well, we could get one of his right here in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's there was a challenge there that's a thousand in Ontario and a thousand in another province. Hmm. <coughs> nice. So there's, there's five along the road just west of Aurora. And Ken, you have uh, some new adventure labs, at least two, I think, for the trans canada highway um i have one one and actually today just a couple hours ago our the fifth one in manitoba got published mm -hmm. so we've got the trans canada you know, almost let's say about half covered already going, yeah. from, uh, going across don't have anything on the yellowhead yet yeah yeah we got to get them going we need some maybe i'll put one out myself i'll just kind of throw something down and <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got to publish mine. Yeah, got to get on that. I know you're on the list. Yes, I know. I got to publish mine. You're east, uh, east of Ottawa, right from the yeah, border. Yeah, east of Ottawa, from the, the border until Alfred. Yeah, using the old Highway 17 hmm. because the new the Trans Canada with the 417 oh, is it's probably boring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> oh well, you know, I there was an idea I had of doing an adventure lab in an area that has nothing at all and it's just oh, basically so find places that you can pull off the road You're and right. give them a random uh trivia <clears throat> question about canada or the trans canada highway or something like that so you need to go to the area to do it but it's just it, you don't have to have anything specific for that spot just a, a way to get mm -hmm. an adventure lab into that area Anywhere, you know, like the Yellowhead Highway in Manitoba, could you could do that as well. You know, the, the, there's some interesting places along the the Yellowhead. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. There's some big um, statues there, big uh, characters. Yep, um, uh, a big I mosquito. Got, uh, uh, mos no, actually, mosquito wouldn't count because that's north, uh, oh. going into the interlake. Uh, okay. Along the along the Yellowhead, you got Happy Rock and uh, Gladstone. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a bull in, uh, Russell, I think it is. So, uh, good. technically not on the yellow head, but there's a white horse in St. Francis Xavier. So th there's a few, yeah. these, uh, roadside attractions yes. kicking around. Hmm. And speaking of roadside attractions, Texas, you have the Cadillac desert. I think it's yes. probably... I went to college up at Texas Tech, which is just south of Amarillo and Lubbock. But up there, it's it's a tradition for most people to go up there and spray paint the Cadillacs that stick out. And mm -hmm. yeah. I think they got a virtual and some other items up there as well. It it's on my to do list at some point. I I, I don't how where is it? Um, according to like Dallas and Austin, is it? Um, it's going to be west, northwest. It's in the panhandle of, of Texas. It's directly west of Oklahoma. So oh. it's going to be in the panhandle. If you've ever taken Route 66, it'll go right through Amarillo. So that's that's where it's going to be. That's on my retirement list. I have a, uh, a Route 66 uh, geocaching list to do and video accompanying. I'm just I'm hoping that someday we can do it. Uh, I'd love to fly to um, or maybe drive to uh, Chicago and then uh, go from Chicago all the way to L.A. I would love to do that someday. Got it all. It's right there. It's sitting in my computer waiting to go. Route 66 has been a dream of mine for a while. We'll just have to get you a Cadillac so you can drive and stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I could fly to, we could we could fly to Chicago and rent a Cadillac. That'd be fun. <laughs> Yeah, we flew once to when we did the when our very first video that we actually produced, which one of them was 
the very first one minute Wednesday was California, California's oldest. When we went on that trip, uh, we flew in and we rented a car and it was a Jaguar. And I'm like, a Jaguar? Like, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, a Cobalt or, you know, some, some small Nissan or something. But no, they said everything that they had there, everybody gets all really expensive cars. I go, well, what could I have if I didn't get a Jaguar? And they said you could get a, 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 was a Corvette. I'm like, what am I going to do with a Corvette? <laughs> so, yeah, we had a Jaguar, so it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. And we had friends uh, that we we stayed with in Palm Springs, and he was just like, oh, can I take it for a drive? So, all right, I yeah, tooted around the neighborhood a little bit, so that was cool. So, uh, yeah, any adventures coming up for anybody? We have one coming up, BC. <laughs> I don't know how much geocaching we're going to get done, though, but we have a few yeah, things. Yeah, it that, depends. Uh, yeah. So, and we have a lot of uh, live videos coming up in January. We have one on, almost every Saturday, uh, January 8th, 15th. We have one of our, uh, we have the Geocaching Vlogger Summit, and then we have one of our patrons, uh, very first patron, uh, TTO2, uh, Vince Rowe. He's going to be uh, on as a guest, and he will have completed some challenge that will make him one of the most accomplished geocachers in the world. And he has the highest number of completed fizzy grids in the world. Wow. So he has done quite a bit. Uh, there is some controversy with him, and we'll be discussing that as well. And then um, at the end of the month, oh, I can't remember my schedule. I have my schedule on my phone. I don't have it on me. But there's another... Um, a video that we're doing at the end of the month as well so we tried it i liked last year with the, with the i didn't like the pandemic but the pandemic uh brought about the ability to do online and live shows and i really enjoyed them in the winter it helps fill in some time when i we def don't want to go out and find geocaches and do filming in the cold <laughs> so well sometimes it allows, it's harder too because yeah. you know once that are on the ground are snow covered so yeah so it's a little harder to get done uh so we're gonna we can concentrate on the one minute wednesdays they're really quick they're really easy they're very easy to edit um once you've got the, film, the footage in place you just pop it on and it's a, a template that i've already got set up and it's just basically boom, i can get it done in uh half an hour sometimes and these videos do take a, a quite a bit of time uh to edit in some cases um just because of how they're put together or what I choose to do, uh, how I choose to create them. And then anything that gets added, like any of the graphics and music and sound effects and, and stuff like that. So, or a visual effects from changing one to the other. And of course we have our little blip that we have in our programming where I have to run it through another program to get rid of all these little gaps that appear in the video, which is still uh, bothering me, but we try to produce for you guys the best that we can do. And uh, we've got some things planned in the future. And uh, it may take until summer for us to really get rolling into some really, really interesting stuff. Because I might not be working by then. So I'm hoping. But in the in the winter, I'm going to be very, very busy where I work. So uh, we're going to see. But we'll get video out to you every single week like we have for the last four years. So there you go. Mm -hmm. we'd like to thank you very much for coming on an hour of uh, hanging out with you guys and we really appreciate you coming out and hanging out with us it's so good to see everybody yeah. 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 Me too. and thank you very much for your support it does mean a, a lot to us and we don't take it lightly and uh, we hope did everybody get their special package uh, yeah. Can yep. right. yeah. I got this in the mail today oh excellent, excellent. excellent. I haven't opened so, yeah. it yet. So, thank you very much. Uh, if you heard that you didn't get a package, let, let us know. Uh, we'll make sure we get that. Um, Brian has treated us very well from Cash's Corner Store. Uh, we want to give him a shout out. So uh, let me just play that right now. I can pull the uh, banners. No brand. Boom, boom. Here, I'm going to run this really quick. This is for Brian. Here we go. Cashers Corner Store.
There Is that we go. Poop that in was the background. I think it was. <laughs> that was an unpaid ad from Cash's Corner <laughs> Store. Gratis from uh, my production studio. There we go. Oh. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, uh, okay. Gary and, and Catherine, Charles, and yep. Ken. And Dave. Have a Merry thank Christmas. Yeah. 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 Have, have so a good trip. That was you. a very Merry yep. Christmas a couple weeks ago. Congrats <laughs> the on the new day. And everybody stay safe. All right. Yep. See you guys. See ya. Good night.